G'day all, it's Brother Blonde. Well, I guess it wouldn't be anybody else talking like this saying Brother Blonde, so it must be me. Let me just get out onto this road, which I have done. Woohoo! Who needs a clutch? Anyway, um, firstly, uh, thank you to Bill Mark for having your uh, competition and thank you to your deck of cards that put me as one of the winners. <laughs> I'd like to thank Mum, Dad, the Academy and all those who voted for me, the deck of cards, the dog. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a, a good competition and I think if it was on um, merit alone, there's no way in the world I would have won a prize because there were some pretty amazing entries. Some uh, very imaginative videos out there. So um, I'm quite pleased that it was random, but I think everybody is a winner in that because everybody participated. Or er let me rephrase that. Everybody who participated is a winner. There, that's politically correct and it's true. All right, now a, a little shout out to uh, Sven, uh, who, as you know, is a little bit poorly at the moment. Now, he must obviously be on some very strong drugs because um, he sent me an email. I'm uh, just thanking you know, for the uh, contribution to his Get Well Fund. And he said he really wants me to continue making videos because he loves my accent. I don't think I have an accent, but apparently some of you think I do. Now, while he's in his drug-induced stupor, not stupid, stupor. I thought I would do part two of how to speak strine. If you haven't seen part one, well, let, go and see part one because that sets a few ground rules on how to speak strine, which is another way of saying Australian. And if you saw part one, you'd realise that we are very lazy in the way we speak. Anyway, I'm I'm not going to recap any of that because that'll use up too much video. Now, the first fallacy I want to set straight, with all due respect to him and his family, and I was a great fan of his, and I'm still a great fan of the legacy he's left behind, and that is no one in Australia speaks like Steve Irwin. No one. I really mean that, like crikey! No one speaks like him, okay? There was only one Steve Irwin, and he's not with us anymore, and he was a legend in his own... He was a legend! So no one speaks like him anymore. Crikey, get a load of that car! That's got four amazingly round wheels, and they're all moving! Oh, that is beautiful! Okay, so nobody speaks like him. Even I didn't speak like him just then. <laughs> okay, now if you're coming out to Australia, you need to be able to pronounce some of the cities that you'll be travelling to correctly. Sydney, I think, is self-explanatory. It's Sydney. Most people can say Sydney. Where a lot of people come to grief, particularly Americans, and this goes back to our pronouncing your R's. Remember, in Australia, we don't have pronounced R's. If you haven't seen part one, I'll just give you a little recap, even though I said I wasn't going to. Being a skinny person, I have a very unpronounced R's. Okay? You'll, yeah, anyway, that was sort of a joke. A bad one. So we don't pronounce our R's. We don't sort of put that curve over the R sound. Now, when you go to that city that is south of Sydney, it is not pronounced Melbourne. Nobody pronounces it. I'm going to stop far away from this guy just so that um, he doesn't think I'm a goose by talking to myself. <laughs> Nobody calls it Melbourne except for tourists. And you can give yourself away very easily as a tourist by calling it Melbourne. It's Melbourne. Melbourne. Everybody say it with me. One, two, three. 
Melbourne. Now, if you wanted to spell it phonetically, it would be M E L B N. Melbourne. Okay, Melbourne. Not Melbourne. Get Melbourne out of your mind, it's Melbourne. The same applies to the place north of Sydney. It's not Brisbane, it's Brisbane. B R I S B N. Brisbane. Okay, so Melbourne, Brisbane. The place further north that everybody seems to want to come to in Australia is not pronounced Cairns. Remember, we don't pronounce our R's. We don't like R's. In fact, most Aussies don't like anything to do with R's. Or maybe some like something to do with R's. But <laughs> anyway, it's not Cairns, it's Cairns. You know the, those um, aluminium containers that you have your soft drink in it? Or soda pop as some people call it, a can? Well, that's how you pronounce cans. So if you wanted to spell that phonetically, C-A-N-S, cans. Uh, where else? Perth. Not Perth. Again, it goes back to the R's rule. Don't pronounce the R's. Unless they're at the start of a word. Otherwise, that would really be silly. What goes on top of the, the house? Oh, a uh, oof. No, you pronounce the R in roof. Okay, so Perth is not Perth with the R at Perth. Um, it would be spelt, uh, if you want to do it this way, big T, big E, little R, big T, big H. There you go, Perth. Does that make sense? All right. Um, oh, I think the other one. Now I've got another one, I'm going to leave it till later because I want to keep this video short so I don't have to do any editing because I'm going to be busy for another few days at work. I've got a biggie coming up for you but I'm going to leave you in suspenders for that one. And um, I want you to practice those words. Melbourne, Brisbane, Cairns, Perth, Sydney, Brother Blot. Ah, that's a good one. Brother. Okay, it's not brother. Whoa. I hope I got his registration on paper, on uh, video. Okay, it's not brother blonde. Now I know it's spelt that way. Remember, don't pronounce the R's. Brother. B R U T H B L O N D E. Brother. B R U, hang on, oh, I don't know how to swear. You, you work it out and then you write it down. Yeah, you write down in the comments how you think Brother Blonde should be spelt if you're saying it Australian. And if you can think of any other words that you're not sure of how to pronounce, stick them down and then maybe in my next instalment on how to speak Strine, I will attempt. <laughs> attempt to help you out so that'll do so hopefully i can upload this without editing it and i'll see you guys all later Hooroo.